Mi amor. Papá, ¿por qué no tengo ni un iPhone, ni iPad, ni iPod? ¿Por qué no hay dinero? ¿Qué? No. What is up, drummers of YouTube? We are gathered here today to potentially set fire to our drumsticks and maybe sell our drum kits because El Estepario Siberiano, as if he hadn't made us feel bad enough about our drumming, now he's playing one-handed. Dios mío. Bueno, vamos. If you people spend practicing half the time you spend hating, the world would be a much better place. But it ain't. Obviously, he can do with one hand what I can't do with two. That's what she said. Or he said. It's just ridiculous. It's just absolutely ridiculous. It's not right. He needs to be stopped. Let's uh, watch another one. Ooh, classic. I love it. But we have to solve two problems. The first one, hitting the hi-hat and the snare drum at the same time and also replacing all the toms with bass drums. Let's do it. What was that? What was that? An exhibition? Hi-hat and snare at the same time? No, 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 no. Come on, man. Slipknot? No. That's not Slipknot. In all seriousness, please do not go throwing your drumsticks around the room like that. Have an eye out. <laughs> I've, look, I've got to find something, you know. Let's watch a couple okay, more. Okay, guys, so the bassist from Slipknot asked me personally to play Heretic Anthem with one hand. <laughs> and I would love to say no, but you don't say no to a band like that. Let's do it.
What? One more, guys, I think. That's what Let's she do said. one more. That's what she There's said. a heap of them here. That's what she said. This is silly. That's what she said. This is silly. Don't try this at home. That's what she said. This is a hard song with two hands. Absolutely ridiculous. You're not supposed to be able to do that. Um, my challenge, Aleste Pario Superiano, if you are watching this, I want you to do Heretic Anthem, because I love that tune. I want you to do Heretic Anthem with your left hand. That's what she said. Man, this is... What, <laughs> what can you say? This is just... Hours and hours and hours of dedication to the craft. And as he said on that first video, you know, less hating, less trolling, more practice. Oh. Honestly, this is this is the result of hard work. That's it. If this doesn't inspire you to go and practice, I don't know what will. And it's one of these cases where, you know, and I've talked about this multiple times on the podcast and in the chats that I do on the channel. If you catch those, uh, there's one of those every week now. And we always come back to this stuff like talent, myth, gear, myth. None of that stuff's important. What's important is you and your dedication to the craft, to the instrument and your dedication to practice and progress. It can be really hard to see you know, from, from a long way out, like if you're starting out or if you're not progressing very well, it can be hard to see that and actually hard to believe it. Okay, one last time. These are small, but the ones out there are far away. <laughs> and you start to default to all this talent kind of nonsense. It's hard work. It might be a said. lot harder that's what she said then you think you might be doing what you feel is hard work you might feel like you're putting in the time and it might be three four six ten times the amount of effort and time that you're currently putting in that's what she said again had dylan elise on the podcast i've brought this up a few times and i asked him how much he practices to get to that crazy level he said he was practicing 12 hours a day at high school 12 hours a day at high school to reach that level. Craig Blundell, when I caught up with him when he was in Auckland, um, he mentioned that he was on the road as a touring pro and he was practicing 12 hours a day on top of the gig. Sound check everything else, 12 hours. And that's Craig Blundell, like up there. So am I saying you should practice 12 hours a day? No, I'm not saying that. It's all relative. It all depends on whether you're a hobbyist, a working player, a pro, and what you want to get out of the instrument. If you're just playing for fun, a bit of stress relief, beautiful, do it. But if, if you're getting frustrated and you want to reach Ale Stepario, Siberiano levels of insanity, it's nice to actually know where you stand with regards to your practice times and how much time these guys put in because boy, oh boy, that is... Yeah, you're not you're not allowed to do that. Come on, man. Give us give the rest of us drummers a break. But yeah, my challenge. And if anyone wants to let Aleste Pario Superiano know this, I want to hear heretic anthem on the left hand. Guys, remember original video links as always in the description of each video. I think this time I'm just going to put Aleste Pario Superiano's uh, channel link. Please go along and support him if you're not already. If you're not already, I mean, come on. And if you do enjoy my channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button, like button, and leaving me a comment with what you thought of this video and what I should get to in the future. Until next time, take it easy. Ciao.